Hey, 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 it's Warren Rosbowski here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Pitch Black Egglock. In the previous episode, guys, we managed to grab that seventh oh-so-sexy gym badge in our Unova region adventure without too many issues at all. Well, I'm saying that Bryson did use absolute bitch-made tactics. I mean, that Walrein that kept trying to stall us out, hello, that was very, very annoying. But he got a swift thunder punch to the face, and we managed to pick up that badge. Today, everybody, we're going to be carrying on with the adventure, which involves... A butt ton of storyline. So buckle yourselves in for some hilarious voices. Hey, sugar tea. I've been talking with Bianca and I'm wondering, since we left Novemba Town, has something about me changed? And I'm not talking about me breasts, you pervert. Anyways, I felt like there was nothing. Have I really become stronger? Or is it just my Pokemon that I have? Oh, I don't know anymore. Hey, hey, cheer up, Sharon. I think your boobs are a fan. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sugar tea, uh, I mean, uh, I'm going to go to the Pokemon fan club. I'm really searching for what I want to do and what I can do. Oh, Bryson is coming back out, probably because I did call him bitch made, but hey, here we are. Who are you? Who? Us? Uh, I'm Bianca, and this here is Sharon. I know you are there. Why don't you show yourselves? <gasps> oh shit, son. This Bryson has fucking eyes everywhere. Even in his balls and anus. He has eyes literally everywhere. Impressive, gym leader of Icarus City. We, the Shadow Triad, are beings of the shadows and not easily noticed. Our mission was to speak only with Sugar Tea, but so be it. Getsus has a message for you. Come to the Dragon Spire Tower. It is there that our Lord N waits for you. Now, our mission is complete. Dragon Spire Tower. What's going on? Hey! Tell me! Nope, those fuckers are gone. Now, hang on! Young lady, if you're here for a gym challenge, hang on for a bit. I've got to head to Dragonspire Tower. I'm going to Dragonspire Tower's the north of here, right? Okay, look at them going off uh, for a little bit of a, a bum party. Although, saying that, Jaren has got breasts and exquisite breasts at that. Whoa, 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 what should I do F for now? I have to go to Dragon Spire Tower. Okay, I'm heading north. Well, girl, I'm heading south. I'm heading south for the win. I'm heading south. Actually, yeah, I'm definitely heading south because I'm going to the Pokemon Center because I didn't get a chance in between episodes because I knew some chat was going to be happening right outside the front door. And I didn't want you beautiful, beautiful bastards out there to miss all of the storyline because today is going to be very storyline driven as we get to the crux of Team Plasma's plans. Okay, let's jump straight up north and find out what's going on inside the Dragon Spire Tower and hopefully, hopefully get ourselves another capture because that means we can hatch an egg. And if I remember correctly, we didn't hatch... Was that Dunsparce we caught in the previous episode? I know we caught a Pokemon, but we didn't hatch it. So we might have a couple of uh, eggs to hatch, if not in this episode, in the next episode. And then we'll get to see what you guys have been sending me. Hey, sugar tea! What, what do you want, Bianca? You just... <laughs> like sugar tea! And you must be like Bianca! I'm the other Professor Juniper! The Professor Juniper who gave you the Pokedex is like my daughter! I know, right? Nice to meet you, Professor! Thanks to Professor Juniper, I got to start on a journey and start figuring out the possibilities for my life! I'm very, very grateful to her! Is that like a right? A grand? A grand? Actually, we should like chat later! Sugar tea, Bianca, like, here's the sitch. Some members of Team Plasma, like quite a large group, broke through the tower wall and went inside. Bryson and like the young lady, I believe her name is Charan. The two of them went like after Team Plasma, but you're definitely just filling us in on shit we already know, Cedric. Professor, what's the Dragon Spire Tower? Ha! <laughs> like, you must be like a complete retard. Well, I'll like. Briefly explain, Dragon Spire Tower has stood tall since like long before Yanova was like founded. On the top floor, the legendary Dragon type Pokemon waits for a person pursuing ideals to appear. That 
is what is said. Like, are you gonna go after Team Plasma like your friend did? That's like totally admirable of you to join the fight against Team Plasma, but like it's totally risky too. Don't worry, Sugar T and Sharon are both really, really, really strong, and they've beaten Team Plasma before. But I'm not all that strong, actually. I admit it. I'm kind of a faggot. I was thinking, uh, would it be nice if maybe I could uh, stay here and be your bodyguard? Mm. Oh, like, oh, why? Like, totally thank you. That makes me feel, like, so much safer. Well, Sugar Tea, it's up to you. Climb the tower. This is all I can give you, but maybe it'll help you rest. Give me some old fucking gato, some stale old piece of fucking cake. No thank you. Keep your fucking old cake. So fucking mold on it and shit. Like, still, what could Team Plasma be after? You just told me there's a fucking legendary dragon that sits up the top of the... Uh, uh, Cedric. And you're calling other people retards. Fuck me, Seddy. Seddy, Seddy, Seddy. Seddy, Seddy, Seddy. Okay, like, I really, really loved this part of the game when I was playing through black and white for the very first time. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Okay, so, Gola is up first. That is not fun. And do you know why that is not fun? Because we cannot use false swipe on it. Because normal moves don't affect, like, ghost Pokemon. So, let's go straight for the Ultra Ball and hopefully Golette. Come on, Golette. I know you're flexing that right arm there. And I don't know what you're planning on doing with that left arm. But it kind of gets going some some sort of jerking motion. That I'm not sure is appropriate for a children's game. Get the fucking ball. Magnitude. Oh, my gentle Jesus. Kakarot. Please live this. Oh, you got the focus. Oh, you ate that up. You ate that up like a monster you are. Okay, so Kakarot's there. We should probably bring in Dark. If we bring in Dark, then hopefully Dark can take any hits that the goal it brings forth. It's probably going to be Magnitude again, so we'll avoid that for the first time. Tactics, my loves, tactics. And then we'll go for the Hypnosis. Hopefully... Was it? Went for the Mega Punch, but I missed anyway. Fantastic. Uh, go for the Hypnosis. Hopefully put it to sleep. That's my Dark. That's my baby. That's my baby. Now, what we can do is quite cleanly go for the Ultra Ball now, because I think most other things will probably kill it. Because we are 30 levels higher than this goal, and that's exactly why we wanted False Swipe. Although, hold on a second, I actually replaced False Swipe, didn't I? For mm, Brick Break, that was it. Mm, just making fucking noises there. There we go, it does not matter. We got the goal on the second time of asking thanks to Dark, putting that goal to sleep. Excellent work, guys. Means we've got two captures. Um, to be trading in for your eggs in the ovarian station. The energy that it burns inside, it enables it to move, but no one has been able to identify this energy. It is uh, sexual energy. No, we don't want to name the golet because we're just going to be trading out for an egg. Now, what we need to do is pop a repel real quick, and I'm pretty sure it's actually just going to be a bunch of trainers here. So what I might do... Here's again, I'm just gonna skip to the next point of storyline, and I'll see you there, you sexy bastards.
And there we go, guys. We are back. That was absolutely unfucking believable. Honestly, if you watched that little bit of sped up material, that working and twerking, grinding montage as we went all the way up to the top of the Dragon Spire Tower, holy shit! At one point, we were. We did four battles, one after another, after another, after another. We didn't even get a chance to breathe and heal up our Pokemon. That was absolutely unbelievable. Whether there were rotation battles, triple battles, double battles, or even the final one was just a single battle, so it wasn't as bad as the rest of them. But holy shit, they were hard. I was absolutely sweating. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, so I'm glad I skipped ahead of all of that. Oh, I can breathe. I can finally breathe. We've healed up all of our Pokemon. We've got a couple of PP back as well. Which is going to be absolutely fantastic as well. But the main thing is, guys, we managed to get all the way through them without losing any of our Pokemon. So we got a couple of levels up. Nothing important to tell you. Uh, Kakarot is an absolute fucking monster. But apart from that, the rest of the team did very, very well as well. And we didn't lose anyone. That was the main thing. So let's get on with this storyline, yo. Okay, let's see what's going on. We got the beautiful Queen N up here. And we've got a big ass fucking dragon right in front of us. Zekrom. Holy shit, look at that guy. That is fucking monstrous. I'm gonna shit myself a little. Brings me on to the question of the day, though, guys. Question of the day. Who's your favourite out of uh, Zekrom and Reshiram? Who's your favourite out of those two? I'll let you ponder that over while we go over through the chat. What do you think, Sugar Tea? How do you like the powerful form of the Pokemon who appears before and fights beside the hero that will lead the way to a new world? Now, Zekrom, I will head to the Pokemon League and defeat the champion! This will be the last of the Pokemon battles that hurt Pokemon so! A world for Pokemon alone. It's finally going to be a reality! Oh, shit, guys. I think the world is in trouble. If you want to stop me, you must become a hero as well. That's right. When Zekrom's counterpart, Reshiram, recognizes you, we will finally be even. And then you can try to stop us. Well, what will you do? My prediction. If the future that I see is true, you will meet Reshiram. The Pokemon will believe in you so strongly... Will you be the one who interferes with my formula for changing the world? If you want to protect the bonds between Pokemon and people, you must search for Reshiram. I'm sure it is waiting for you in the form of the Light Stone. Motherfucking... Oh, and out! Oh, shit, son. And just disappeared. Sugar tea, did you just see that flew all up and it flew off just now? I can't believe me fucking eyes! No, I just didn't fucking see that N fly off out of here on the back of fucking Zekrom. How could this happen? Why, that was the girl N, right? Why was she with the legendary Pokemon? She really couldn't really be the hero, could she? Also, did I hear her tell you search for the other? Also, did I hear her tell you to search for the other legendary Pokemon? Calm down. That's the wrong fucking voice. Calm down. First, we go back. It's more important to decide what to do next than analyze what just happened. You are right. You are right, Bryson. Let's go back and have a little granny's meeting about what happened. We should be fucking taking action, bitch. Like, astounding. I never would have imagined a legendary, like, dragon-type Pokemon would return now. <sighs> that girl called in. Team Plasma's boss apparently reawakened the legendary Pokemon. She told Sugar Tea to look for the other legendary Pokemon, then fucking flew away. Huh? There are two legendary dragon-type Pokemon? Yes, you idiot. Who the fuck is that? I think it's red-haired Alder. There he is, that's it. Right, my lovers? <laughs> uh, like, why if it's an elder? It's like, been a while. How have you been? <laughs> right, my lovers, no time for chit chat. Those violent flashes of lightning that shot from the tower. That Pokemon has the power to destroy the world. If it's on Team Plasma's side and the Team Plasma tells everyone to release their Pokemon, well. I won't have my six leaves no more. No matter whether it comes from fear or admiration, the world can't help but change. 
it will become a world where we are separated from Pokemon. My sex slaves! Right! Like, moreover, the boss of Team Plasma and who reawakens Zekrom! Apparently, like, t said to look for the other Pokemon, Reshiram. Alright, if I remember the myth, Zekrom's powerful electricity, along with the other Pokemon, devastated ancient Unova in an instant. Even knowing that, and is still wanting to awaken the other! Uh huh. Isn't it dangerous to bring back a power Pokemon that powerful? <sighs> Fucking hell. Uh, Alright, boy, are you very. <laughs> you <laughs> Fucking. Poor Bianca gets absolutely destroyed in these. Alright, boy, you're a very dense person. Still, I don't know if other Pokemon will be able to stand up to it. Because no matter what, it is a legendary being. I don't like the idea of taking orders from men, but searching for the dragons. The stone. Might not be a bad plan. Certainly, we can't let Team Plasma reawaken them both! Since I've traveled all over Unova, I have an idea where it might be. Let's head to the Relic Castle. Sugar tea, everyone, I'm off! Like I see, we'll like leave that to you. I'm gonna investigate inside the tower. Hopefully I'll find something. Ah, then I will go along with you. This guy kind of like sings when he speaks, which is pretty cool. Bryson, okay. Uh, hey, I think I understand better now. Being able to do something for Pokemon for somebody at a time like this is strength. I'm sure of it. And my strength is something that is given to me by Pokemon. Okay, champion, Lizori! Let's go, bitches! Okay, Bianca, you gotta fucking talk about shit again. Sugar tea! This has turned into a big deal, huh? So confusing. I don't know what to do. Are you going to go to the relic? Re la 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 la. Are you going to go to the relic castle, Sugar Tea? Pass Route Four in the desert resort. I hear that's where the relic castle is. Thank you very much for that tip, there, Bianca. Holy shit, guys! Holy shit, is the story kicking off? We've got to go and reawaken the legend Reshiram. And to answer the question of the day, my favorite of the two legendary Pokemon is Zekrom. I love that bastard. If you've seen the movie with them both in, the voice for it is just fucking badass. Not along, along with that, its design is absolutely stupendous. Black with that blue, like, electricity coming out of this tail. Oh, it's fucking beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So remember to answer the question of the day in the comment section below. Who is your favorite out of the two legendary dragon-type Pokemon in this game? Is it Reshiram or Zekrom? I would love to hear what you guys say, but there we go, guys. We're going to end off the episode there. We did a butt ton of storyline. We did a butt ton of trainers as well. Make sure you go check out the working and Work and Grinding montage uh, in the middle section for this because... Honestly, those battles were very, very sweaty work, and the episode would have been far too long if I put them all in, so I sped through them. We didn't lose any Pokemon, that was the main thing. But in the next episode, guys, we're gonna go for the Light Stone to reawaken the Legend of Reshiram, and hopefully go on and defeat N after completing the Pokemon League. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, then please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you enjoyed today's video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. It is really, really appreciated. But either way, guys, I've been Razbowski. You've been the wonderful bastards as always for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!